snow. The first snow of winter hit right before Thanksgiving break. School was closed, so we got an extra day of vacation. I was glad about that because I was so bummed about this whole August thing and I just wanted some time to chill without having to see him every day. Also, waking up, on, waking up to a snow day is just about my favourite thing in the world. I love that feeling when you first open your eyes in the morning and you don't even know why everything seems different than usual. Then it hits you. Everything is quiet. No cars honking, no buses going down the street. Then you run over to the window and outside everything is covered in white. The sidewalks, the trees, the cars on the street, your window panes. And when that happens on a school day and you find out your school is closed, well, I don't care how old I get. I'm always going to think that that's the best feeling in the world. And I'm never going to be one of those grown-ups that use an umbrella when it's snowing, ever. Dad's school was closed too, so he took me and Jamie sledding down Skeleton Hill in the park. They say a little kid broke his neck while sledding down that hill a few years ago, but I don't know if this is actually true or just one of those legends. On the way home, I spotted this banged up wooden sled kind of propped up against the old Indian rock monument. Dad said to leave it, it was just garbage, but something told me it would make the greatest sled ever. So Dad let me drag it home and I spent the rest of the day fixing it up. I super glued the broken slats together and wrapped some heavy duty white duct tape around them for extra strength. Then I spray painted the whole thing white with the paint I'd gotten for the alabast alabaster sphinx I was making for the Egyptian museum project. When it was all dry, I painted lightning in gold letters on the middle piece of wood and I made a little lightning bolt symbol above the letters. It looked pretty professional, I have to say. Dad was like, wow, Jackie, you were right about the sled. The next day, we went back to Skeleton Hill with lightning. It was the fastest thing I'd ever ridden. So, so, so much faster than the plastic sleds we'd been using. And because it had gotten warmer outside, the snow had become crunchier and wetter. Good packing snow. Me and Jamie took turns on lightning all afternoon. We were in the park until our fingers were frozen and our lips had turned a little blue. Dad practically had to drag us home. By the end of the weekend, the snow had started turning grey and yellow and then a rainstorm turned most of the snow to slush. When we got back to school on Monday, there was no snow left. It was rainy and yucky the first day back from vacation. A slushy day. That's how I was feeling inside too. I nodded hay to August the first time I saw him. We were in front of the lockers. He nodded hay back. I wanted to tell him about lightning, but I didn't. <laughs>